You ever create your own AC like this? By just doing this to your shirt? Oh, I love doing that. Oh, this is so fun. Everyone do it with us. <laughs> That's a Southern thing, I feel like. Oh, oh my God. Welcome to another episode of I'm Into That. Into That. I'm Matt Real, your host. I'm EJ Gomez. Uh, today we have the incredible Garrett Watts, YouTuber. YouTuber. Uh, that's it. No. Uh, <laughs> YouTuber, good friend. Uh, he's got, what is he hitting, like 2.3 mil now? Yeah, probably even Insane more. Insane numbers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's been a, a long time friend of mine and, uh, very excited for him to be here. This guy can talk about anything and he's got such a great perspective on pretty much all of it. So, uh, very excited about that. Yeah. I think it'll be a good episode. Oh, we're just going to gab like some old ladies. <laughs> gab like some old ladies. I can't wait. Some like some old Southern bells. Some old Southern, Southern ladies. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Garrett Watts, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the one, the only, YouTube sensation, 2.3 million subscribers worldwide, Garrett fucking <gasps> Watts. I'll bleep that part out. Sick. I want to say, Garrett, congratulations on all your success so far. Oh, thanks. And I can't wait to see the future. Me too. It's a weird thing to say at the top of the episode. <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> a two minute long podcast. <laughs> we'll have you come back again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all sorry. right. It's okay. Looks like a spider. No, oh! <laughs> sorry, I hate spiders. <laughs> Speaking of spiders, wait, can I tell you oh, something? Oh God, please. <laughs> I have, I so I have a brown widow infestation at my place. I don't know what a. I saw you say a brown that in widow? the video, and I don't know what a brown widow. Well, is. Well, you know what a black widow is, right? Yes. Switch up the color. So, you got a brown widow. <laughs> It's the exact I, didn't, same I didn't say that I couldn't <laughs> fathom it. <laughs> it's real. You fall, you black widow. You got that far. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Brown widow. No. So idea. it's got a red thing on its butt and it's brown. It, yes. Is it like a brown recluse black widow hybrid? Whoa. No. The it's, worst of both. No, it's not the worst of both. <laughs> the most poisonous spider in the world. <laughs> Look, we don't need to go on and on about my brown widow. Uh, let's hear it. No. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. it's on the card. <laughs> well, now it is brown. Oh no! Wait, what is the card thing? You need to clear this up for not only me, but anyone who's watching is new to this. What is the card thing? I'm, a, I'm, I'm becoming a better host with these cards. When? <laughs> <laughs> the rap I'll, air horn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, you know how the kids inter, uh, internet edit? I'll go, <laughs> and then I'll cut to you, and it'll go. <laughs> no, no, you get them up. Baby, when one of us can bump our shoulder, and it'll do the wasted. The oh. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. I'm a fan. All right, but I do want to know more about the Brown Widow. No, just very I, quickly. I, okay, okay, okay. It's just that I went outside one day and because my place was sitting uh, basically stagnant for many months. Yeah. And I wasn't doing anything about it. And this one room, which was my bedroom, was just sitting empty with a bunch of boxes in it. And I was sleeping on a mattress in the living room. So heartbreaking. Yeah. But Dark. like, I know. I went into the room one day and realized, like, oh, this place is infested with Brown Widow spiders. Did you diagnose them yourself? No, the web. <laughs> oh. The web. Oh, shit. <laughs> we both. Is, are we done here? I mean, because in Hollywood, can we just get paid for that moment? Yeah, that's good. The web. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyways, it's fine. It's going fine. They've be, Some of them are my friends. They live their lives. We're all good. Great. Thanks. I went, When I moved back to Kentucky from uh, Chicago, I lived in a basement, and I was very terrified of spiders. Oh, would they come in? They were all over the place. Oh. Uh. And I was worried about brown recluse and black widows and all that. And so I got, I, I became Batman for spiders. <laughs> became Wait, what do you Spider mean? Spider -Man. Uh, he was like afraid of bats. So he was like, I'm going to be bats now. Were you empowered by it? Yeah. Whoa. 
I knew everything about spider. Ask me a question about a spider, I'll answer it. How many steps can they get before they get so tired? If they have to go to bed. <laughs> Three to four. How many? <laughs> That's steps? not many Whoa. steps. <laughs> anyway, bra- Black Widow is not really that dangerous unless you're a baby or an, an elderly. Person. Wrong. Black Widows actually are aggressive. Yes, like, I didn't say that they weren't aggressive. Play it back. He said that they weren't <laughs> <as> aggressive. <dangerous. laughs> a Black Widow is not really that dangerous unless you're a baby or an, an elderly. Person. Wrong. <laughs> I guess anyway, Garrett was right. The, they are not. They are aggressive. You say. Okay, I read something terrifying about black, black widow spiders. And listen up, because if you, okay, brown widows, for instance, if you disturb their web, they just go, uh, and they back away, and they're like, don't hurt me. Yeah, yeah. Black widow spiders, if you, if you tuffle their web, they proactively find out what disturbed it, and they will come after oh, you. Man. So they're aggressive. So if you touch their web, they're like, no, it's not over. Yeah. And they come out, they're seriously, they'll like run after you. I thought you were going to say they'll, they'll proactively figure out what disturbs you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. They, like, remind me of my of my body weight. <laughs> they, like, spell it out in dead flies or something. Is it all these webs? Yeah. He, like, leaves out pictures of you when you felt like you were at your best. <laughs> like, you're like, what the, oh my where was this photo? <laughs> That's so dark. There's a spider, like, around the corner. like <laughs> I'm looking at it like, that wasn't so long ago. <laughs> I will end you. Speaking of spiders, though, you've been playing Spider-Man, right? I have. I have been playing Spider-Man. It, are we good to talk about Please. this? I have I been playing wait. Spider-Man, and you know what? Look, I'm a big PlayStation fan. PlayStation. 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 I've been a Spider-Man fan since the when I was a little boy. I mean, a PlayStation fan. Uh-huh. My friend Shane got me a... Guess what he got me for my birthday? Well, he got me a few things, but he got me... a. PlayStation controller, but made of chocolate. <gasps> Whoa. I know. Actual I, size? I actual size. Whoa. Whoa. Did you melt it in your hands? Nope. You ate it. Yep. Um, um, I love Spider-Man. Yeah, so you've been playing it. I've been playing it. I just beat it last night. I love it. My dad took me out of school to see Spider-Man 2. It was the coolest Whoa. day of my life. Doc nice. Ock? Doc Ock. Nice. Doc Ock. <laughs> Doc Ock, Spider-Man. Give me a picture. Have you ever... <laughs> Give me a <laughs> All picture. All of them. That's everybody at once. <laughs> I love you, Spider-Man. <laughs> Get back home before seven. <laughs> Spider-Man. Aunt May goes, deliver us from it. And he goes, finish it. <laughs> finish it. <laughs> my favorite. I talked about this on a lost episode, but my favorite thing from all of the Spider-Man for oh. universe okay. is Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin. You were on Lost? I talked about this on a lost episode. <laughs> oh, God. Care <laughs> Watts. <laughs> <laughs> that's he fucking said, great. Well, he's at a lost episode. Yeah, uh, and that's where my mind went. Well, yeah. You mean a lost episode of this? A lost episode of the podcast. Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> the the brick wall behind me, <laughs> the spotlight. Everyone's losing things nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> my favorite thing in the world is Willem Dafoe as uh, the Green Goblin, and I came up with a bit. Have I ever done it with you? <sighs> what is it's it? <clears throat> it's part of my stand-up stuff. <laughs> Here is uh, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin for Little Caesar's Pizza. I'm so excited. Pizza, pizza, Spider Man. <laughs> Thank you. I love Spider Man. He just says pizza, pizza. Yes. All right. <laughs> it's, it's 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 a Little Caesar's commercial. Get your hot and ready five dollar hot and ready pizzas, Whoa. pepperoni, cheese. Get your crazy bread. Get your extra crazy bread. <laughs> I see it. Only f- only five. Yeah. He comes in on the glider. Psh- only five ninety nine at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza, Spider Man. <laughs> oh, and then he throws one of his little hobgoblin bombs, <laughs> <laughs> and he turns into what that was. No, that's the sound that it makes. The little bomb. Did I think of the hobgoblin do that? What were his bombs called? Go- gobble the balls, pumpkin bomb, pumpkin bomb, <laughs> <laughs> gobble the bob busters. He was. Uh, if you really think about what kind of villain that was, that's really cool. That's what I would be like—a goblin that throws pumpkins. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> no jokes here. No jokes here. <laughs> DJ, hey, what the hell are you thinking about Spider-Man? Matt and I, I feel, could confidently tell you the place he has in our existence. Mm-hmm. What place does he have in his in your existence? Or maybe there's another superhero that's more relevant for you. Maybe you're like, oh, I only like Daredevil. Sorry, you don't sound like that. I love Spider-Man. I used to, I'm really mad that I don't have a PlayStation, so I can't play the new one. 
because I played all of them on my old Xbox. Oh, I got a surprise for you, AJ. <laughs> Brand new PlayStation 4. <laughs> that would <laughs> be great. I don't have it. Oh, well, now I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. I really want to play the game because I love Spider-Man so much. It's great. Okay. It's really good. I have a specific thing that I'm sad that you can't do, though. Let's hear it. Okay. It's just that in Spider-Man 2, from the, for the hit game from 2004. Oh, my God. I think I yeah. know what you're If you know where I'm going with this, I'm going to lose my mind. You could throw your webs this way or this way to traverse through the city. 100%. And my favorite thing in the whole game to do was to just hang out. Yes. Yeah. And he would just sit there. Yeah. That was it. Oh, my God. And in this one, you can't do that. That, that game is fucking tops. Oh, I want Top it so bad. Tier. It's so good. That's cool. You said you were crying last night? Oh, I did. Because <clears throat> I watched... And this, because this podcast is about what we're into, right? Yes, this podcast is about, about what, what we're, we're into. into. I, I, so I, I watched American Horror Story season one last night, Murder House, which one time I tried to watch and I was just like, eh. But yeah. I watched it, like, I've been binge watching it and last night I finished it and I was like crying by the end. It was so good. Oh. So it, good. It's so, so good, yeah. I've, I've seen it. The first season, Sarah loves Sarah's Amazing. EJ's wife. Do you, oh yeah, I, she's my wife. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the first that, season, Murder House? We yeah, went there the other day. But it really swept me off my feet. The I won't spoil anything, but the specific detail with Violet. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah, it was it with... I'm not, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I've know. never seen... Uh, no interest, but I've never seen uh, American Horror Story. It's an anthology series. Yeah, yeah. What's, why did you say no interest? Uh, we talked about this last week. I just don't watch... You remember. talked about this last week. No, no, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> Who did you talk about it last week with? We talked about this two weeks ago. My friend Nikki. I just don't watch dramatic television shows. It's not dramatic. It's camp and it's fun and it's yeah. wonderful. Is it 40 minutes long an episode? I don't know. It's Jessica Lange as a supreme witch being the best. That does sound great. Listen, there's so much TV. I still got to watch the new Twin Peaks. I haven't ever seen anything Twin Peaks. I don't <laughs> oh. even know what that means. You haven't even oh. seen that yet. Though. But I know that you're a big fan. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight? Oh, this is such a Jessica good question. Jessica Lange or... A Spider-Man or Laura Croft? Whoa. Oh. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I know you think that. <laughs> You're right. It would definitely be Spider-Man. She'd go, and he'd go, nice try. <laughs> nice try, <laughs> double guns. There's a couple of ridiculous quips in Spider-Man. Oh, I had to, I have to like, I kind of, I almost muted it last night. <laughs> yeah, most of them, I, I think they, they stink. There's one where he like, he's beating up these guys and he's like, this was a good one. I was like, oh, I like that one, Spider-Man. He's like, the 10th the time I lock you up, the beating's free. And I was like, that's pretty good. You uh, would be a really, and I'm not flattering this, uh, I'm not saying this to flatter you on your own podcast. You'd be such a wonderful voice actor. <gasps> Thank yeah, you. You, you really would yeah, be you like, would. you just became Peter Parker. Like you sounded <gasps> like a 22 year old, like boy just there. I mean, I know you're not far from that now. But you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> I'm an old man. You are. You're, Matt is mentally about 63. Yeah, for sure. Right. Sure. But like a cool 63 year old. Yeah, like my cool grandpa. Hey, you know what? This is oh. this is going to be our quiz for the thing. Because we don't. We're not, let's not do a quiz. Okay. But EJ, yeah. Uh, uh, something that Garrett and I do mm -hmm. that's very fun mm -hmm. is give each other lines to perform and read. Right. Yeah. Give each other lines through. So I want you to give us each by the end of this episode. Give okay. us each ten lines, five lines each. Five lines each. Okay. That are that Spider Man would say. <laughs> Okay. To the Green Goblin, and oh. we'll, we'll we'll perform him. Can I can I offer a suggestion? Oh please! I think he should come up for your lines, and you should come up with his okay. lines. I love it. I think we'll that's put really. We'll read them out. I think that's okay. Yeah, oh, wait, write them we, on the cards. Oh, we write them on the cards. Yeah, this, this is oh. a borderline Jimmy Fallon bit. I love it. <laughs> we'll do it by the end of the episode. Let's talk about what you're into. Just like I know you're a big Harry Potter fan. I know you love <laughs> Kill Bill. And uh, the Charles Angels. Yes. Charles's Angels. Those are like the surface things, though. Yeah. Are those things surface because you, you can, like, because people can easily relate to them? <coughs> like, because I know that you also, like, text mm -hmm. me about some Korean movie that you saw, like, There's the a night before, and you're like, this is just blowing yeah. my mind. This is the best way to say it. You know, in conversation when you're talking about music, right? Yes. And then, you know, what kind of music do you listen to on a date or whatever? And someone gives you like a reasonable answer. Oh, I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. And like, I really like Elton John, whatever. Wouldn't be my answer, but whatever. Someone could say that sure. in theory. But like, whenever they ask me, I have to put myself in check. I have to say things like, uh, <clears throat> oh, you know, I'm a huge fan of uh, D'Angelo and like Joni Mitchell and, um, you know, some fan, some people that like people would generally know. I wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, I'm a huge fan of like Shabazz Palaces and like sure. Klaus. And, but I'm just saying like, I don't really, uh, 
I, I try not to put stuff on people that's too obscure. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. when it comes to like nerdum and fandom, I want to <laughs> very often talk about the weirder stuff that I'm into. Sure. Like I just tweeted yesterday to my friend Jeffrey Starr, who's like a big makeup, mm-hmm. you know, beauty guy on uh, <clears throat> YouTube about what he should name his dog. And I was like, oh, Jeffrey, you should name your dog uh, Danger after my favorite Italian antihero named Danger Diabolique or mm. Diabolic. Yes. From like the 1960s. He's like this antihero who's obsessed with money and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Incredible movie by Mario Bava. I'm obsessed with it. And, and, and this guy named Ennio Morricone. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Did I the, think you're right. Did the score for it. Ennio Morricone also did the score for all the spaghetti westerns mm-hmm. as well as uh... the spaghetti westerns. It's almost there. <laughs> We're there. The hateful eight. There <laughs> it is. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I, I so I you know I don't want to go on a little tangent about that, but yeah, with with that kind of stuff, I know what you're asking. Like, do you do you do you keep it understandable? Yes. Yeah. Because I do understand what people actually know. I'm not gonna like reference 1973 Shambara films and be sure. like, right, guys, Lady Snowblood. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, yeah. um, but yeah, there's a lot of my my nerd my nerddom or fandom goes very very deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to tell me the last thing that you were like fucking. And I don't care if I don't know it. I probably won't. But like, tell me, because the goal is to also broaden, you know, everyone else's experience of of everything, really. Yeah, that's definitely true. Let me. Uh, I'm trying to. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. I should have come prepared with something. That was no, no, no. That's fine. Because I mean, I'm I'm into a lot of stuff. I've been doing this thing where I reach out to like my favorite like musicians and stuff yeah. on Instagram. Not not, and they're not big time crazy musicians or anything. Just like people that I really love. And generally, yeah. they're just like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab some coffee whatever yeah. and so that's been really fun just to like meet people that i like and stuff you told me this when i got to la yeah i actually uh, we'll share this uh i would love to i think that you uh i remember we met in austin for the first time oh, yeah. i was living in austin we were like we, we liked each other's vines we were yeah. you came and you were like matt you have to move to la yeah i'm well i did that with ej yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you and i was like hey, maybe i should do <laughs> but I, I think that you've been, uh, yeah. you, 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 I think you're a grandfather to a lot of LA, yeah. LA and people I, here. I would hope that that's the case. And that's where yeah. I want to take my whole creative career. <laughs> what a vibe. I don't know. Like, yeah. I really, really want to get into this space of like self-development for like 20 somethings and, and being like using your resources and doing these yeah. things in like a book or something. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I love doing that so much. I love telling people like no one knows what they're doing and you can take, anything you want and do whatever you want and succeed like, yeah it's so accurate what's yeah. interesting is that like you have i like talking to caleb for example yeah. uh we our friend caleb who does the theme yeah, song who does the theme song i love caleb that he was talking to me and, we, and i was saying like what, what's your next kind of move like creative wise and it was funny because the advice that he was like well garrett i talked to garrett and this is kind of what he told me you know reach out to these musicians that you you really like are inspired by and see if you can maybe help out or even work oh. out on, like if there's anything and like i thought yeah. that was a very garrett response because years ago you told me that similar thing and like that kind of like worked out for me i reached out to people that i was like oh my god like dude like, yeah. th- that's so great though because caleb i mean oh man if you if you haven't heard caleb's music please go to caleb hers 34 at soundcloud after the show after the show <laughs> now this is just shit that he's fucking around with yeah he's not even he like... is ma- he is making some really cool stuff now and the, the the future of him, like what you're gonna hear is stuff that he like offhand in his bedroom was like, here you go, and it's still fucking great. It is yeah. still so better good. than like 99.8 percent of music that yeah. is made in that genre. It's ridiculous. Hearing him was like a revelation for me. I almost took it off, and I was just like. Caleb, who did this? I don't. I don't listen to James Blake like yeah. you guys. I don't listen to the same music you guys do. It makes me think that I should listen to more music like this because I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna burn this you a CD, you. Matt. Please, I'm burn you please. a CD of music. Oh my like god, this. I'm such a fucking piece of shit about learning new music. Oh. I I love. Oh, that is my favorite thing to do. Can I tell you something that I used to do? Yes. 17 through uh, 23 for me were spent traveling. So I was doing a lot of couch surfing, a lot of backpacking, everything. Every time that I would travel, I would burn about uh, 10 to 12 CDs of mm-hmm. what I was listening to at the time. And just write on them like, you know, January Halloween mix or like whatever. Just something silly. January like that. Halloween mix. <laughs> <laughs> Those were two separate things. Just like 
<laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like I would just no, but I would I it would be music that I was like listening to at the time and yeah. I would just um like give it to people. I'd be like, "Hey, like I don't know if this is like a strange thing at all, but uh this is music that I listen to and I was like I'm not plugging anything. This is literally just music that I think is cool and I know people get distracted and they don't find a chance to listen to music, but yeah. I was like I love giving people new music, so I was like, "Here's some artists. Listen to them, love them." There. And they would always be like and I would always write like my email address on it or something just yeah. so they so they could see like say hello if they wanted to because they're always interesting people like teachers or like in the yeah, military yeah. or something. And they would always just be like, oh, I've been listening to that CD for like eight months now. My kids are like freaking out because they'll walk in and I'm listening to like Backseat Freestyle by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, so I love burning um, CDs for people so much. And I know it sounds like something to do from 2001 and it is, but I'll never stop. No, that's great. Because... When it's yeah. a CD, it's special, and they seek out a CD player, and they they yeah. can actually listen to the songs when it's like something that they have to intentionally do. Right. Yeah. And then you can't like you can't just like throw it on so so easily. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be something that like this is a moment that. And that's another thing about you that I love oh. is that you you're you're um some so I have this issue occasionally if I show a movie to a friend of mine or, or whatever. Yeah. It's a real curse, but. You're watching a movie. You're watching a movie. There's serious parts. I mean, it's anytime you're showing anyone anything, you're showing it to like, I show things to Sadie sometimes. And if she like looks away at the wrong moment, I'm like, oh, please, this is what I wanted you to see. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I'm the same way. I get that. But, so it's, it's tough. So I've tried to be like, here, watch this on your own time or whatever. Or, like, mm-hmm. let's go to a theater when it's screening. Cause you can't really fuck around that much. But well, yeah, like, yeah. so you're watching like oh. 2001 or something. You're watching something. Okay. And then like, you know, someone's like goofing on it, goofing on it in the moment while you're watching something. And you're like. <laughs> yeah you don't have respect for cinema <laughs> yeah. oh when people got to be comedians during movies here's my one of my least favorite moments of all time when you go to a movie you're laughing you're enjoying it something hits you you're crying the movie lets out mm. it it gets you you're crying a friend looks over at you goes you're crying that has never happened to you are you serious yeah. That hurts my feelings. Yeah. That is so shitty. Are you serious? It's the worst thing in the world. I am so... Dude, if that has ever happened to you, which it has, or to anyone watching, if that ever happens to you, write that person off immediately. <laughs> Be like, you know what? We're good here. I don't care if you've known them since you were three or one years old. They're your mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I cried last night during American Horror Story during the last episode. There's yeah, a, I, it's really sweet. I, I teared up at the end of Spider-Man. There's a Sophie song called It's Okay to Cry. Uh, and, and Sophie's one of those obscure musicians that I would yeah. never assume anyone to like know. But um, she's amazing. And uh, check it out. It's Okay to Cry. The music it's Okay video, to Cry. The music video is insane. If you guys get curious. Yeah. I'll put a clip of it right here. Bloop. If you did, if you just put a clip of that, I'll be so excited. I will. Because she'll be like, she'll just find a clip of her doing it. There's also Rosie Greer. Uh, it's All Right to Cry. It's all right to cry. That sounds kind of like a similar song. And then there's a, uh, It's All Right to Cry by um, Francis and the Lights. It's all right to cry. Okay, I have a question. Oh, yeah. And we'll make it quick. <laughs> if you, okay, so say this is like... This is the moment where you get to say the one film that you wish everybody would watch. Like, if you oh. could suggest oh. one movie oh God. to a person Gosh. that you're just like, this one thing, please, what would it be? <laughs> EJ, you go first. Oh, oh, don't make me go first. This is it. Someone comes up to you and they go, I never watch movies. I'm going to watch one movie this year. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit down with all the lights off, with like my headphones on, and I'm going to focus, and I'm going to watch a movie on the big screen. That's, that's quite a tall order. Yeah, that's the thing. You're like, do we... Okay, do, they want to have, do I want them to have fun? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's why it's scared. like, am I trying I to show them, them like... Both? You know what? They say, dealer's choice. They <laughs> say, you dictate the emotions. Make me gonna... feel. And... <laughs> it's a game show. Oh, sick. Hosted <laughs> by the person uh, who asked you for a movie rec. Make me feel. Oh, it's a bit. We're, EJ and I got this. We're good. Do you want to... Okay, so that's the situation. And okay. I say this because I have asked people that. Like, I have reached out to friends, probably even to you. Yeah. But, like, reached out to people. I do it a lot more with music. Hey, this person that I know and respect and who has a good taste in music, give me a song that you love. I want to listen to a song. Make me right feel. feel. All right, all right. Don't yes. be upset with me. Because this is not necessarily because this is a great that, filmmaker. I know it. You know it. It's going to be... Well, actually, you might... Somebody who's never seen a movie... That I want them to fully, I would do probably Interstellar. It's because Matt, listen, I know it, I know it. Listen, this is why because I feel like there's a lot to pick apart. Depends on who it is. Yeah, it sounds like maybe your answer was for like a mom that was like 
just be inve- like, I've never seen a movie. I want to be invested. So it was either going to be that or like Gravity or something? Something like that. I feel gravity. like it's big. Something that makes you feel very small. <laughs> that sucked. I <laughs> know. It's also not a unique joke. I loved it. What's yours? Oh, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh. Uh... Hedwig and the Angry Inch is how it looks, but... That's like one of the that's one of the most meaningful movies I've ever seen yeah. in my life. And if I, if I could get someone to sit down and watch that, I'd be a happy man. Huh? Beautiful. It's a story about. I was not reflecting on it. I was thinking about my an- my own answer. <laughs> good. I'm sorry. It's okay. That was no. That was not a judgment on yours. It was like, oh, that's a good thing. Maybe I should think of that when I'm trying to come up with mine. But you should let people who come onto your podcast your talk. F- like no. Because that's a common note. <laughs> no, like, you're, like, that's mark a... up the table, write stuff. Uh, oh no. <laughs> okay. No, okay, but just consider it. Okay, what's your answer? Huh, I don't know if I have one. Like, I, I, my immediate one would be like, what made me want to want to make movies when I was a kid? And it's Jurassic Park. Uh, here's what here's what I here's what I'd want. Here's what I'm genuinely gonna say. Okay. Uh, I would ask that everyone. Watch uh, Be Kind Rewind. <gasps> oh. Michel Gondry. Michel Gondry. Jack Black's in that, right? Jack Black, yeah. most deaf. Uh, Wonderful movie. Jack Black wow. is most deaf in I it. I seen that um, movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, I, I, I think that, that Be Kind Rewind is such a sweet, honest, kind film. And it, it would just be nice to put more energy like that out in the world. You're right. I'm going to pee real quick. Okay. Because I really got to go pee. You want me to pause this at all? Or you just... No, just let it roll. You guys have your own conversation. Okay. Right back. Hey, Garrett. EJ, yes. can... You and I, can I sever my head off, yes. and then you do the same thing, mm-hmm. and then I'll you, and then I sew my head onto your body, mm-hmm. and then I just have your body without doing the work. <laughs> when your head is on my body, mm-hmm. you do all the work. Okay, I'll give you eight months. I could do it. I'll I take I care of your body as much as I can. Maintenance. I'll walk. <laughs> I'll go on some I'll walks, walk. and then we switch. Okay, and then the heads come off. Thump, thump. I. You get your head mm-hmm. back on my your body. body. I get my, but you've improved my body. Okay, deal. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I don't see why not. EJ is going to be my personal trainer. This this is something okay. that bothers me. Is like if you not you, sure, yeah. But like when people come to me, they'll say, "Oh, you got in shape," and I'm like, "Yeah, it was really hard." <laughs> and they're yeah. like, "How long would it take you Garrett? to get him fit?" Oh, that's a good question. What's the level of fit you're trying? I to, like, just want to feel good in clothes. Legit. I don't need to be like a shirtless yeah. model or something. Oh, to get fit, I mean that could that can be done. Probably like two months of like if you do it in one and a half. (laughs) My my suggestion was him. It was long winded. You can watch it. I heard it. (laughs) I heard. I heard. I heard it. I was like cutting it. (laughs) I'm cutting it. So people just come back in on you just coming back from the bathroom. They're not hearing any of this. You're like that villain. That Whoa. you're like that no, you're like that villain Ooh. that's like history won't even remember you. I'll erase you from history. I will erase you from Whoa. history. They'll never know your name. They'll never know your name. You'd be a <gasps> great voice actor, man. Yeah. That was my that was my Optimus Prime. There's a tweet that's been Autobots. We will bring the battle to them. <laughs> Don't you want to hear about my tweet that I haven't tweeted in two years? I didn't hear you talk about that. I just brought it up as I was doing uh, my thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, you it, no, it's topical. I have this tweet that's been in my draft for two years. Which I'd is, love to hear the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Okay, that's why it's never been tweeted. Oh, but but it's something that I legitimately wonder, and I'm not gonna try to summarize the tweet for you. I'll just tell you the thought. I always wonder, you know, in history, like in movies and stuff, when someone's like, they won't even remember your name. You you'll be erased from history. Like, how many of those people have actually succeeded? I'm, like, oh. being dead serious. Like, how many of those people were legitimately, like, they killed him, they killed his whole family, <laughs> this is it. they wiped out his entire city, they buried it in rubble, Whoa. carried it away, and we don't know about the city of, like, Gernesta. <laughs> yeah. With the hero, like, Meldu. Meldu from Gernesta. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think about that. How many, there's probably dozens of people. But wouldn't we know about the bad guy who did it? So we'd know about the bad guys who did it. Yeah, and but then. he's tight-lipped, and he, and he didn't, his journal got the, burned. In a wood fire. Question. So in this scenario, the bad guy also has a journal, journal. that he writes He's like, afterwards. I said that I wouldn't tell them about Meldu. <laughs> I said he'd be erased from history except in this journal. Yeah. <laughs> but I am a man of whimsy. <laughs> Throw it in the fire. <laughs> I do like closure. <laughs> well, I've just, I've thought about that. Ah. It's never made it out of my draft box, but it's something, That's it's me thought. trying to summarize that. Yeah. That thought. How many people, you know. 
It's like the tweet is something like, you know, in a movie when and it just gets long winded. Yeah. And I look at it and go, this sucks. I got tweets like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Just getting a chance to come talk to my boys. We gotta fucking end this podcast. Wait, why? I'm having fun. <gasps> oh, Whoa. maybe this is a two-parter. <gasps> I, don't, don't. I never even thought about oh, it. Oh, I was gonna tell you, it's definitely. Oh my gosh, Garrett, out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, what? We got a two-parter. Are you serious? I just think that we've had so much fun. I will promo one. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's well, the promo one. promo one. That's the. I don't fucking. I don't need you. Wait, there's so much to talk about still. Obviously, that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the end of a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we paused it in the middle. Uh, that's because we talked to Garrett. I think. I'm looking at the timer right now. We talked to him for two hours. Yeah, it was two hours. There's going to be... Uh, oop, Trump hands. There's <laughs> definitely going to be a second part. Uh, there's just way too... We cover way too much stuff. Um, yeah. And uh, there's a game. We play... We goof off and have a fun game time. I think I think the people are going to enjoy it. It should be good. Thanks to anyone who has followed us, subscribed, commented. If you want to be one of those people, and I want to say <laughs> that you do. Hopefully. Uh, follow, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at I'm Into That Pod. You sent us an email. You no, know, last week we we read a couple yeah. of the emails. We read a couple of the comments. So we're reading them. We're seeing them. You might even see yours on the episode. But it, it, please uh, send us an email at I'm into that podcast at gmail.com. We talked a little bit about it. Caleb Hurst, thank you for giving us a theme song. If you want to hear more of his stuff, that's SoundCloud, uh, Caleb Hurst 34. That's also his Twitter. Uh, we will see you next week with more Garrett Watts. We'll be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs>